Hi, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about automating your deployment with Fastlane. Okay, so today I want to talk about something that you might find really interesting or you might find very boring and technical, right? I find it fascinating. So one of the things that I spend a lot of time doing is setting up apps like for iTunes and Google Play because we, we have a lot and a lot of stuff goes out, whether it's for ourselves or for clients. You know, I know my way around the iTunes Connect interface and you know the whole pro I did a video about this last month where I showed how to deploy an I iPhone app so actually going through to the de dev center and setting up the certificate downloading the provisioning profile going into iTunes connect setting that up all that kind of stuff which is really really tedious right so it's um you know and this weekend I had to do I, I had to resize a bunch of screenshots because we were releasing a new version of EarSpy and we didn't have because it's been so long since it's been updated on iOS it didn't have any iPad Pro screenshots. So, and I, you know, and because we had it localized into 19 different languages, and we're talking about 80 screenshots, and I thought that's gonna just take forever to reproduce those. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll just scale up the ones that I have. I know you're not supposed to scale images up, but you know, it's gonna save, you know, rather than go through and getting all those images done again which took forever the first time I just I wish there was a way I could just download all of my images and then just resize them and then upload them again so I started going through and right clicking and save as and then I thought well, I'll just check to see if there's a tool that does this and of course I, I came up uh, you know I, while I was searching I found Fastlane tools which is uh, which is a, a, t a product that I've seen before some you know uh, my developer Calvin told me about it before but it looked like it was more for continuous integration so I never paid much attention to it and this weekend I started using it and it is so cool have a look at my screen here I mean for those of you who do iOS builds and also for for Google Play it's really useful so I'm going to show you how how I use it and, and some of the tools I think are really cool have a look at my screen now this is the, the website here it's called fastlane.tools and uh, you know it's got you know six million developer hours saved, which I believe actually. Uh, and it it's like a whole suite of tools here. Uh, if I show you, uh, most of them are for iOS. So you've got this one, deliver, snapshot, frame it. Now some of these are more for native developers. So one of the reasons I didn't pay attention to this before is because a lot of the development we do is is, is Corona SDK, it's Ionic, it's other frameworks that's not you know the native code. So we're not compiling things through. Xcode or Android Studio or anything like that. So, well, we do sometimes, but it, it depends. Most of them we try not to. But, you know, so that's why you know, I've never paid much attention to this, but this does have a lot of really good tools. We got Deliver, uh, which will, you know, download all the metadata from iTunes onto your um, hard drive. Uh, you know, Snapshot, which will create snapshots. Uh, frame It, which will put them in frames. There's a, there's a bunch of them here, Sai and Jim. Now what I want to do is give you a quick demo of, uh, of how to use it and, and the kind of time that it can save, right? So uh, there's a, uh, I need to set up an iTunes Connect. Uh, we, we have a, an app coming out called Bengali Spy. So we have all these spy language games. So we have Mandarin Spy, Italian Spy, all this stuff. So the next one going out is Bengali Spy. So the process is you go into Apple Dev Center, you know, set up the app ID, then you know, set up the provisioning profile, download the provisioning profile, go into iTunes Connect, set that up, you know, all that, you know, a lot of tasks. So let me show you how to do that through Fastlane. So let me go over to my command line here, and uh, so let me show clear. So for those of you who are afraid of the command line, this is this is actually really easy. So let me just show you here. So let me take. A command. What what I want to do first is create the app in uh, Apple Developer Center and also in uh, in iTunes Connect. I mean, I could do that with one command here. So it's called Fastlane Produce. Now, if you look here, I, I'm actually adding my username and my team ID just because I keep adding those over and over again. But you know, if you don't add those, it'll ask you what those are. Hit Enter because I've already set everything up. It will just log me into iTunes Connect. And as before, the bundle identifier. So that would be com.overpass.bengali. Bengali spy.pro. Cool. Now ask for the app name, Bengali spy pro. And that's all I have to enter. Now what that's doing now is it's going through. You can see here it says creating 
uh, Bengali Spy Pro on the Apple Dev Center, so it's creating that app ID. And now it says it's creating it on iTunes Connect. Now this one takes a few minutes because it doesn't actually show up on iTunes Connect for a few minutes. So you can say it's waiting for the application and it will just kind of go through there and start doing that. But while it's doing that, let's go over to the Dev Center and I'll show you how this, uh, how this looks. So I'll go in here, let me just refresh. Bengali Spy. And you can see here, this is the one I just set up, uh, com.overpass.bengalispy.pro. This is the one I set up earlier on an earlier video, which didn't record So uh, when I was demoing it. Uh, so that's done. If I go back over here, it's still waiting for iTunes Connect. So we just wait there a few minutes there. Cool. So there you can see it says successfully created Bengali Spy Pro on iTunes Connect. If I go back over to iTunes Connect here and I click on, let me just refresh. You see here it's already created Bengali Spy Pro. So it's created in both places using one command line and it only took like a couple of minutes there. Now, it's done that but it has to give me the provisioning profile. So that's another command here. So just let me just go back to the terminal. Let me type in the other command which is called uh, Fastlane Psi. I don't know why it's called Psi. Uh, but, so I put that in. Again, I'm using my parameters here so I don't have to keep entering them again and again. It says starting with login, uh, then ask me for the bundle identifier. So that was the same, com.overpass.bengalispy.pro. And then this will go ahead and handle, if the um, provisioning profile exists, but it's expired, it will create a new one. And if it doesn't exist, it will create one, it will download it, it will register it with Xcode. All of those processes are taken care of just like right there. So it's really cool. So there you go, a few seconds as opposed to the very manual steps, but that's not all. So the other thing that, it, the, the, probably the coolest thing, the thing that I found this weekend was, uh, was the one called uh, deliver. So the, the command called deliver, let me just clear that. Clear, okay, so basically what I have is a folder here uh, where I, I have a paid folder which I set up where I wanna store the metadata. So let me just go over here and go type in the command, fast lane deliver and that's from within that folder. And it goes through, it logs me into iTunes Connect, asks me for the bundle identifier. Here we go, com.overpass bengalispy.pro. Now what this will do is it will download all of the metadata and the screenshots to that folder. There we go already finished now it's there's not any screenshots because we just set it up but let me just go back to that folder here so you can see here it's, it's downloaded it here i've got metadata so category name all this stuff everything's blank at the moment but i could go in and fill it in here or i could do that and i've got screenshots and we don't have any screenshots yet but if i were to create some screenshots i could just put them in there and upload it now let me show you what it looks like when it's full and with my biggest app called ear spy so this is what the one I was really having trouble with this weekend because we have so much data. So I downloaded this and what it does is it creates, you know, uh, for the metadata, it creates for every single language that I have, it'll create an individual folder, so the localization. And each one of these we have descriptions. So there's a text description, keywords. So I could, if I was gonna change my, my keywords like in any automated process, I could just go through and update this. Uh, the marketing URL, this is one of the things I hate about. The marketing URL seems to change. Like you, when you do, do localization, it's like copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And uh, you know, this is the kind of thing where you just take this and then, and then copy it. Uh, the name, the privacy policy, again, privacy policy, it doesn't seem to take it across all the different ones and the release notes. So it does that for every language and also for screenshots. So you can see here, all the screenshots were downloaded. Now. If I were to make any changes to these files and then I call Fastlane Deliver a second time, it will upload those changes to the server. So it allows me to do everything here on my local machine rather than skipping between screens and doing that drop down between the localizations, which is what takes so much time, right? So it's, it's, it's really powerful. And then before you upload it, before you do the, the upload process, it'll give you like a little preview here. Let me just see if I, 
uh, to show you what everything looks like you know for every language all the screenshots so you can prove it and then you say yes let's go ahead and, and upload that so uh, now it's not they do have tools for so that so that was really cool that's the kind of thing that's gonna save me like loads of time this is what I spend most of my time doing and I was really really excited to, and I couldn't wait to tell you guys about it excuse me if you're bored if you only have one or two apps it might not be that exciting but if you're localizing let's say you're, uh, you want to localize into different languages, but you want to do it just to test it out with like Google Translate to begin with. You could download all of those, you could download those files. Let me just show you this. Uh, for Spanish, uh, blah, 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 this is what I've done. So I've downloaded it into, um, I downloaded it from Android, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, and then I was able to take the English one and then based on the different languages, just create a folder, copy paste that folder, and then go into each one of these uh, short descriptions, update it, uh, call the command again, and have it uploaded. And you can do the same thing with, with iOS. So rather than go through and copy, paste, copy, paste, it's just copy the folder and then upload it again. Now, what I showed you was the iOS side. Now, there's another command here called, there, there's a few Android tools, it's not as involved, but there's one here called supply, which is really good and it works the same way as a deliver one does. So you call supply, it will download those, that information here from, from Android, and then you could go through and update that information, call supply again, and have it upload that. Anyway, it was just something that it's, you know, it's, if you can get it set up, and I, I don't know if it works on Windows, you know, I'm using a Mac, so you have to have Xcode and all this kind of stuff. But uh, it's the kind of thing that can save a lot of time if you spend a lot of time like I do up until now. I'm actually kind of angry I didn't know about this before. I mean, my developer told me about it before, but it looked like something that was more for continuous integration. A lot of the tools, a lot of the tools might not apply to us because we don't use Xcode, but you know, again, just those few steps is gonna save me, you know, hours, you know, probably at least two hours a day. So that's going to be awesome. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope it's been interesting and uh, I'll talk to you guys next week.